Now this is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky, and the conservationists and local tribes who keep it will prosper, and the ones seeking to destroy the forest for their own purposes see it as dry. The Amazon rainforest in South America is this planet's pinnacle of biodiversity. More individual species of plant and animal can be found here in this forest than any other. From microbes like various bacteria and algae to apex predators like the harpy eagle and the jaguar, you can't step foot in this location without seeing life in one form or another. While this forest is amazing and mighty, it's also in mortal danger. The Amazon rainforest is quite possibly the most biologically amazing location on the planet, and there's an ongoing war to determine this land's fate. In a way, the Amazon is almost like one giant living organism, along with the trees recycling oxygen. Organisms throughout the tree-covered land constantly carrying nutrients via decomposition, grazing, predation, and other forms of energy consumption. Each creature has its own unique place in the vast wealth of life here. Michael J.G. Hopkins said this fairly well in his work when he stated, Biodiversity in the Amazon Basin is uniformly high across most of the basin. There are large predators like big cats and birds of prey, there are grazers like tapir and capybara, and there are various casts of creatures in between like reptiles, amphibians, fish, and more arthropods than anywhere else. Many of these creatures, in fact, offer special benefits to humanity from food and medicine to building material and spiritual guidance. Most of our valued resources can be found in the Amazon rainforest. Various fruits and nuts like bananas, cashews, and coffee can be harvested there along with many special plants with medicinal properties used by both native tribes and pharmaceutical companies overseas. In fact, many items that the average shopper brings home from a grocery store can be found and cultivated in the Amazon basin. Not only does the Amazon provide humans with needs for consumption, but it also provides lumber for housing and land for raising beef cattle. Despite the fact that numerous sorts of media outlets from children's movies to news broadcasting networks often advertise rainforest obliteration, as a result of loggers and building companies for lumber, the primary reason that trees are cleared here is for farmers to set up pens for their cows and livestock. While this forest is absolutely massive, spanning multiple countries in terms of sheer land mass, there is still a finite amount of space and it's only a matter of time before we humans harvest and destroy all of it if current trends continue. While farmers and loggers continue to harvest from the rainforest, many people are quite upset at the rate at which the forest is being demolished. While many of those diminishing the rainforest for business purposes clearly aren't the bloodthirsty monsters that they are made out to be, they are labeled as so due to, the great, due to the rare and often beautiful nature of the environment they demolish in the process. This label is both unfair and often overused by environmentalists wanting to protect the rainforest. However, there are ways to help the dying forest that don't involve shaming and demonizing the people attributed to its destruction. Many conservation efforts are being made to protect this ecosystem and the creatures that inhabit it. Nature parks and areas where deforestation is not allowed are being developed to help reduce areas of forest recover their strength. In addition to this, certain species of plant and animal are classified as endangered or in critical condition, and said species are protected by law in an effort to preserve their numbers. Other conservation efforts include teaching the public, often from a very young age, what an amazing place the Amazon rainforest is and why it should be protected. While these efforts are certainly effective on their own, it's clearly it's still early in our generation to see if those environmental preservation lessons will have a long-lasting impact on the minds of the targeted audience. Whether or not deforestation will continue on its own at its current and dangerous rate is certainly something to keep in mind as time progresses. The battle for this forest is ongoing and fierce, and there's no way of telling how it will play out. So the best man can do is learn from his lessons and continue armed with the knowledge he has gained. All in all, the Amazon rainforest is renowned for the countless creatures that call it home, and after existing peacefully for millions of years, the fate of this land now lies in human hands. As a whole, it's in everyone's best interest that this forest stays strong as both planet Earth and humanity both heavily benefit from it. The fact, the fact of the matter is that the future of the Amazon forest looks bleak, and there's no question about it. It has been home for countless living things, and now many of them face a horrible fate at the hands of mankind. While there is still hope for this forest, the nature of mankind will ultimately determine whether it persists or perishes. Now this is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. 
and the ones who keep it will prosper, and the proper conservation, and with proper conservation the forest won't die.